What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Uh, going to show you some major -y kind of soloing ideas. Uh, I was in the key of B major. Uh, I took the jam section from uh, Grateful Dead's Scarlet Begonias. So it's kind of in that jammy kind of vibe, but also a country-ish kind of technique, uh, as well as, you know, any kind of southern rock kind of thing, Allman Brothers. You know, the list goes on and on. So we'll zoom in and break it down. Also, I've got some free MP3 jam tracks so you can practice licks over it right in that link down there, plus all the other uh, social media stuff, and I really appreciate that. But anyway, let's zoom in and do this one right now. Here we go. All right, I want to show you the progression first that I was soloing over, and it's a B major. So I'm doing a B major chord to a E major chord, you know, 1-4. Then back to the B, and then F sharp major, you know, just the five chord, down to the four chord. So check it out. B, So all, the 1, 4, and 5 are all straight major chords, so it's very, it's as major -y as it kind of gets. Um, which is funny because the minor pentatonic would actually still kind of work over it. I mean, it's not what I'm recommending, but that's what's so cool about that minor pentatonic is that we can just kind of steamroll it over, uh, you know, any major or minor progression. I think that's why it's used so much. But I'm going to show you uh, a couple of tricks in, remember, B major and uh, just show you a couple little spots and some things that you can do in the spot. First, let's get the root, B major. It's right there on the 14th fret of the A string. So I'm going to show you this position, which I've showed many times, and it's on the site as well. That's the root. We're plugging in the root with our pinky, and then we're playing, you know, 11, 14, 11, 13, 11, 13, 12, 14, 11, 14. And that's the B major pentatonic scale. Okay. A way to go into that, though, is from the, the root B, the B note, on the seventh fret. A little position that gets you right into that scale I just showed you would be 7, 9, slide to 11. Followed by 9 on the A, then 11 on the A, then the same thing on the D. So look at that, with the root, uh, so look at this, I'm at the 11th fret on the D string right there, slide it up a whole step, and now I'm in that scale I was showing you. So you can stay here or you can climb up and down. And just a rule, you know, a little rule to start with is just find yourself sliding with your ring finger. as opposed to sli sliding with your index finger, just to start with. And you can do anything, but, okay, so watch. Uh, Thank you. 
So you've got this little freeway, okay? But now let me show you some lick ideas. You've got the root again right here on the 12th fret of the B string. So this kind of stuff where you're on the, uh, you know, this little kind of thing right here with the 11 and the 13 and then that B note. And then the other thing is you can hold both of those together. Love that. And you can go. So look what I did. I, I held those two together. And then I hammered that 13 of the G. Then went to the D string 13 and slid down into that box I showed you. Okay, so the next one, you've got that root and then bending a whole step up. So I've got my ring finger on the 14th fret of the B string and you've got this tasty country bend right here. And it always resolves to that root note. Just, just that bend, check it out. another one. When you're doing that bend, you can add 14 on the high E string. Slash, you know, does that all the time. So that's another thing you can add. Okay, but something that Jerry Garcia specifically did a lot, like let's say in this position, was this little trill thing. And you know, it's it's almost like Jerry cliche, but it, it's, it is cool to throw in every once in a while as an ode, so to speak. Um, so in this little box, it would be this kind of thing. 14, 13, 12, and you pull them off like one at a time. then you finally have that note there. You could also do this kind of thing. Thank you. 
I mean, you could also do it without the pull off, you know. Into that bend or the bend into that. Uh, watch it. Here's this. Watch it. But then the reverse. Ha, <laughs> right? Either one. So I'm bending that 14 on the B. Then going to the 11 on the high E up. From that, I've got those free jam tracks down in that link below this box. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.